The other night I told you about China's bullying tactics and tonight I have more to add to that. Chinese hackers targeted Indian government offices, also several other business giants. There has been a massive data leak. The data, the data was dumped on the software developing and code sharing platform GitHub. Where exactly did it come from? A state-linked hacking contractor. It's called iSoon. The leaked data shows the group was directly in communication with the Chinese government. It was hired to keep an eye on the state's quote-unquote enemies, both home and abroad. I will tell you more about the group, but first, what was in the leaked data? It was a hit list of sorts. There were 570 files, images and chat logs detailing the targets of surveillance. On the hacking group's radar were at least 20 foreign governments and territories. This included India, Hong Kong, Thailand, South Korea, the United Kingdom, Taiwan, Malaysia. There were also contracts to extract foreign data over eight years. One spreadsheet, in fact, listed 80 overseas targets that the hacking group had already breached. This has naturally sent alarm bells ringing. According to the leaked files, 95.2 GB of immigration data from India was also breached. What is China's problem really? Why is it hiring hackers to target foreign government offices? Is that how desperate it really is? Let me tell you, India was not the only one. Three terabytes of call logs from a South Korean telecom provider were also hacked. So were telecommunications firms in Hong Kong, Kazakhstan, Malaysia, Mongolia, Nepal, Taiwan. ISON had also been requested to obtain infrastructure data. A leaked spreadsheet shows that the firm had a sample of 459 GB of road mapping data from Taiwan. Can you imagine that? The data dump has exposed the lens that China is actually going to keep an eye on its rivals. And among other targets were 10 Thai government agencies, including the country's foreign ministry, intelligence agency and Senate. The spreadsheet shows that ISOON holds sample data extracted from these agencies between 2020 and 2022. Even the NATO was also on the list. Chat logs described selling unspecified data related to the block in 2022. Another file showed employees discussing a list of targets in the UK and this included its home and foreign offices as well as its treasury. The British think tanks, Chatham House and the International Institute for Strategic Studies were also on the list. The treasure trove did not just reveal China's targets. It also described in detail the methods used by Chinese authorities for surveillance, hack other nations and promote pro-Beijing narratives on social media. You know what? I can just keep going. Chinese hackers did not mean to spare anyone. They have their eyes everywhere, it seems. This shows just how extensive the Chinese espionage network really is. And this, by the way, is just one hacking contractor we are talking about. There are so many more. Who do you think leaked this ISOON data on the platform? Our guess is either it was an insider gone rogue or a competitor. Perhaps another hacking group which was eyeing more business with the Chinese authorities. So naturally, it had to get ISOON out of its way. And iSoon is just a part of an ecosystem of, of hacking contractors in China. It works for a range of government entities like the Ministry of Public Security, the Ministry of State Security and the Chinese military as well. You see, in China, it's actually patriotic to spy on other nations. The country has a model of mixing state support with a profit incentive. ISOON has emerged out of the same patriotic hacking culture, which has been thriving for the last two decades. This has spawned a large network of hackers competing to grow their businesses, and it has become a global headache. But does China think it can actually get away with it? This time, ISOON got exposed. Next time, it might be some other hacking agency.
But the bottom line is, the data breach is out in the open. Does China think there will be no retaliation, that nobody will hold it accountable? Well, then it's mistaken. Tensions in the international community are expected to rise. What if the targeted countries actually decide to coordinate more closely with each other and thwart China's shameless attempts? What will the dragon do then? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.